Hi, my name is Gordon White, and in this screencast we're going to quickly show you how to create a frame around an image. We'll use the cookie cutter tool, which is found over here, and we'll use a solid shape from the drop down. To get more options, simply click the arrow, and then you've got all these. For further options, you can slip the arrow pointing to the right and either select all elements or individual styles and shapes. So we're happy with the solid shape that we've selected at the top here already. Remember this is a solid shape. So now to create the, the frame we simply drag the cookie cutter over the image. At this point we can still edit it and we're happy with the shape that we've got. Select the tick box. Now what we need to do is create another layer for the frame. So to do this put your mouse over the create new layer and control on your keyboard and click. This now creates another layer the same size. What we need to do is slightly edit this so we'll go into image, resize, canvas size. Just make this slightly larger so we'll go to 9 and say 12. So we've made this layer slightly larger than than the other the layer with the image on. So we'll just drag this, move this around so we can see it slightly better. Now what we need to do is fill this layer. So from the foreground colour, we can select a, a nice colour. Nice pink colour for my little daughter. And now within the uh, the bucket, the paint bucket tool with the layer still selected just fill the background now what we want to do is create the frame so we'll go back to the cookie cutter tool with the same shape still selected simply just drag over the image until we've got the border of the frame that we're quite happy with again we can still edit this and alter this make it bigger once we're happy just check the tick box again so now just to make this a little bit more interesting we'll start and we'll add a bevel to the frame and then in a shadow to the photo. So to do this we want to select the, the layer styles and from the drop down select bevels. From there you've got your choice of a few different bevels. You can simply drag it across or you can select it and click apply. So there we've selected a nice bevel. We can all show you a couple of others just by selecting them. Clicking apply. We'll leave it at that one actually. And now from the same layer styles, the drop down, go down to inner shadows. And again the same process. But this time make sure you've got the photo layer selected. So you sele select the photo layer and then select the, the inner shadow you want to have shown on your image. So there we have a nice frame around an image created with the cookie cutter, the bevels and the inner shadows. It's another screencast from videoelements.com.